hi and welcome to Culinary Couture. In this video, I'm going to show you a set of kitchen tools that you will not want to live without. This is our six-piece steel and silicone kitchen utensil set. These large, sturdy, and hefty utensils are roughly 14 inches long. The unique design has a stainless steel core and silicone covered ends and handles. The silicone ends protect precious cookware from scratches. The silicone is FDA approved, food safe, and BPA free. There are 14 color variations. And the holes on the end will allow for neat storage by hanging. You can see that these utensils are not only sturdy and practical, but they are beautiful and will add to the beauty of your kitchen. The six-piece set includes a ladle, mixing spoon, slotted spoon, slotted turner, pasta server, and drainer. The unique design combines the strength and elegance of 304 stainless steel with the versatility of silicone. This has been Culinary Couture. Thanks for watching. At OXO, we know that a basic set of kitchen tools and utensils is the start of a great kitchen. Whether it's a gift for newlyweds, a second home, or just upgrading your current kitchen, we have all the basics for your kitchen needs. The OXO 15-piece everyday kitchen tool set includes a nylon flexible turner, which is great for fragile foods like pancakes, cookies, and eggs, 12-inch tongs with nylon heads, a nylon square turner, a nylon spoon and a nylon slotted spoon, all of which are safe for nonstick cookware, a grater to quickly grate cheeses and vegetables, a swivel peeler, which is our most popular gadget, an ice cream scoop for cones and sundaes, a masher for quick delicious mashed potatoes, a soft handled can opener, 11 inch balloon whisk for fluffy batters and creams, a silicone spatula, a meat tenderizer for flattening and tenderizing, and a four inch pizza wheel. All of the tools include non-slip handles, the nylon tools are heat resistant up to 400 degrees and the spatula is safe up to 600 degrees. The set also includes a large capacity stainless steel utensil holder that includes a removable drip tray. Here's a good tip. The center wall on the utensil holder helps to keep even a few tools upright. Now the traditional method for hand printing is with a wooden spoon. This is a wooden spoon that I have been printing with for a long time. As you can see, it's been through a lot. Um, one of the things to, the, the more you use it, the, the better of a surface it's going to get. It's going to flatten out that spoon. As you can see, this spoon is nice and flat. Um, but also to help it glide easily over the paper, um, I'm going to want to give it a little grease. And actually the best grease to use for your wooden spoon is your hair. So I can use some grease from my hair, grease from my face, to get this wooden spoon nice, it's got a nice surface now, so it's going to glide more easily. Now, just like I did um, with the Baron, I'm going to use this wooden spoon in a circular motion. Now, here I really start to see the ink picking up onto the paper. It'll, because this piece of paper is so thin, I really get a good idea of where um, it's printing. I'm going to particularly pay close attention to these areas of small areas of ink here, but probably where I'm going to need to spend my most time is with the large areas of ink. This is going to be the most difficult for it to pick up in detail and where I'm going to want to spend most of my time with my wooden spoon rubbing over the surface. My name is Mullen, we're in the kitchen at Tertulia, and in order to cook like a pro, you need to be prepared like a pro. So that means if I'm grabbing something hot off the stove, I need to have a side towel ready to grow. I keep this always tucked into my apron like that. If I've made a beautiful plate and it's got a little smudge on the side, I need to be prepared to clean it up. I've got a little plate wipe here. If I'm plating something, I need to have a tool to plate with, so I've got a spoon I keep in my back pocket. I can plate with it, I can taste make sure it's good, and if I get really angry, I can make a point with it. If I'm chopping up on the cutting board and I need to get my ingredients up, I always keep a pastry card. You can scrape that up, clean up your station, keep everything nice and tidy. If I'm cooking a piece of fish and I want to make sure that it's cooked perfectly all the way through, not overcooked, not undercooked, I use a cake tester. Got this guy, slide into the fish, 
touch it to my lip, and that way I know if the fish is done. If I'm wrapping things up, I want to know what the date is, make sure I know that I've got everything labeled properly. You always have to have a Sharpie. And of course, you never know when you need to bring out the heavy artillery. So having a good knife, very important. What do you think is the most important kitchen tool? Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the Bon Appetit channel. This is my review of the Dioro series, Chef series, Flex Turner Spatulas. And this is a set of three and they are stainless steel and silicone. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you these one by one. Uh, so this is the largest and widest turner, I would say. Um, when I ordered these, I did think that they would be large. I didn't realize how large they were, uh, but I love them. I can't say enough good things about these. Uh, so the handle, which extends all the way uh, through inside, is stainless steel. Uh, you do have some flex, but that's really just because of the silicone paddle. This is really sturdy. Um, and this is a, an extremely large paddle, so to give you an idea of scale, I'm going to put this up to a dollar bill for you so that you can see. This is a nice big, um, big paddle, really wide. So uh, there you go on that one. Uh, these are nice and long too, so it gets you pretty far away from what you're uh, frying. So that's nice as far as splatter goes. To give you an idea in length, this one is 12 inches in length and five inches uh, long on the Turner portion of it. Uh, the next one is this. This one we use for burgers. The other one we use more for pancakes. Um, we'll give you a length here. So this one's coming in at 14 inches in length and the Turner itself at seven inches. Uh, this is the smaller of the set works really well. I've actually tossed all my other spatulas since I purchased these. This one comes in at 12 inches in length and just about 5 inches long in the paddle. So again, these are silicone. This is a nice, firm, heavy-duty silicone. There's a little bit of play, a little bit of flex, uh, just enough. These are not flimsy at all. Uh, this is a nice, sturdy stainless steel. It's got a little bit of a bow in it, if you can see that. Uh, to give you a picture of that so uh, I like these really well this is nice and thick uh, the handle is great and uh, yeah I really like them there's a hole in the end so that makes them handy although I store mine upright in a canister so um, I'll just kind of give you a little view of all of them again kind of get a par comparison in size uh, between the three kind of line them up if I can uh, a little bit more closely to the base so that you can see the three of them. So uh, there you go. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you found my review helpful, please click yes under my review to let me know. Thank you. For more details, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching the video. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.